Um, I wanted to show you Schaefer this morning and tell you something about trying to feed little mice like this. Um, they really need their mother. And um, he now thinks my white cotton gloves are kind of his mother. So handling him, all I'll ever have to do is put on white cotton gloves and he will know he's safe. Now, I'm calling him he, um, I think he's a he, but I guess they don't really get um, sexed until they're about um, five weeks old. There he is. He is so tiny. That's my thumb. He's smaller than my thumb. So they love to have pressure, a little light, light pressure on their head. But what I wanted to show you is his mouth. He's got um, a little bit of food on his mouth. And the reason I'm showing anybody this is because you really have to take the tip of a syringe or an eyedropper and open his mouth gently and put it in his mouth. This is so foreign to them um, that he's just going to keep looking for his mother. So it isn't easy. And you have to be the responsible adult who knows that you have to get the food into the mouse. You can't wait for the mouse to say, I'm hungry, give me my food. Now, he's been hungry, and what he does is wander around the container, but he again went in the little water dish and sat there all night. I last fed him at about 1 o'clock in the morning. I got up at six o'clock and there he was sitting in the water dish so he was hungry he probably did take a drink but he can't figure out um he's just too young to figure out that if he opens his mouth he'll have food so i think he might even be younger than i originally thought um the parents after making their um command performance the other night have not come back now. They're avoiding the traps completely. So, life is fragile.